Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I did something that really worked to stretching my creativity. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start explaining each one of these after I roll the intro, and let's get into this. So, as you notice, there are three Bionicle figures. Um, also, stay to the end. I will show two bonus figures that aren't necessarily as cool, but I built them anyway, and so, I mean, no point in not showing them. But these are the three main, main ones from this video. Um, so, I don't have names for each one individually, but... I have one that I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so these two guys here on the side with the skull masks are basically identical. They're just kind of mirrored. So green on the inside, green on the inside, our head, um, head, yeah. They're pretty much the same figure, so I'll just look at one. So I've got some armor plating. Um, the reason that there's orange on this is because when I was younger, I colored on them with Sharpie, and I tried to restore them, but it looks better than the bright red that was on it, so definitely improved it a bit, um, because they're usable now, um, but, so, they're really, really simple. I took time to put the gearboxes on them. I'm not gonna do too much but the gearboxes are on them um they're not too stable but they definitely can stand on their own they've got some plating up here i just added because i wanted to build something big and it's basically the same with this guy just opposite but i have a name for um the this guy in the middle um which is kind of weird it's gonna sound like really stupid the more you say it, but um, it's Ard Voktarv, Conqueror of Octolia. So, this is Ard Voktarv. I don't know, it sounds weird. Uh, I like it though. Um, he's got uh, sturdy feet. Again, I used this in one of my previous builds. I just kept the same. Um, thing together because I knew I'd use it again. Um, so I've got those on both legs, so it's sturdy. I've got the legs armored. I've got a nice little chain piece here. Um, armored arms. No, no heavy weapons. And you will see why in a minute. Um, uh, he's, I've got him in a nice pose. His head has full, like, movability and stuff. I just don't want to mess with it too much since I am one hand recording. Um, but... The cool thing about these three is, um, as you might notice, there's these little joints that are open, and on these guys, there's little ball points. And as you can tell, these guys combine together. So, I will uh, do a jump cut to where I combine the arm things on. So, I will be right back. So, now in this form, he becomes Admiral Aldvarkthov, Conqueror of Octalia. And so these joints just kind of attach on and these become more little arm pieces that he can whack people with. Um, he ha now has the addition of both Skull People's auto cannons here and here, um, which can be very useful. I don't know why, I just find this stance, like where he's got one arm on his chest. I find it very fitting and looking really cool because it just kind of gives me like aviator vibes like you know like a lot of aviation people will do something like that or like to show their honor or something um but the main build is basically the same these have a lot of posability the back is kind of crazy but it's definitely armored with these and the skull heads kind of lock the arm pieces in place for the cannons. But other than that, 
Um, it is uh, fully combined, and these can move. I just don't like to move them that much, especially not one-handed. So, um, I think that is going to conclude this part of the video, and I will show you now the two uh, extra bonus feature. So, I'll grab them, and I'll be back in a sec. So, here is the first one. Uh, I just call this guy the engineer. I don't know why. I just... He is not too armored. And just know, both of these don't look that cool. Because I have very little pieces to build them after building big boy here. So, um, yeah. Very lightly armored. I've got his arms crossed. Um, he has the Galley 2016 chest piece on, if you, uh, wanted to know. I don't think anybody does. But, um, anyway, he's lightly armored. He's not really fit for combat, but if he has to, he will. He could probably engineer himself a big sword. But, other than that, really simple build. Took, like, four minutes because I already kind of knew I was low on technique pieces and bone joints. So, I didn't really have much to go off of. So, I knew he would be kind of small and underbuilt. But then, I built this guy before him. We have the Colossus, as I call him, or Commander Chunk Chungus, because he's super chunky. Um, this is something I've actually never done before. I've seen it. I used armor plates as the leg armor. Um, uh, this chest piece, sorry, uh, this chest piece that he has on was the Kopaka 2016 chest piece, but I had colored on it as well like a lot of the other pieces that I had. Um, so when I went to remove it, it also removed all of the base paint. So now it's just a standard white, and I kind of like the standard white. It would give a bit more freedom than this chest plate because it has so many colors on it. Uh, but this one is a lot more simple and will be able to be used in multiple builds. Um, he's got pretty complex armor plating um it's got a full freaking body on there same but again there's not much here with this build it's just kind of he's really short like let's get a side by side comparison all right and then let's get <laughs> we'll get the commander guy <laughs> he is massive um Actually, I'll move these guys off to the side real fast. I want to I wanna try to see if I can... Alright, so we'll get that. Alright, so this flip-flop is a foot long, alright? Alright, this guy is basically a foot tall. Because this flip-flop is... Probably doesn't even say it anywhere. But it is 12, a size 12. Um, and so, yeah, this guy is basically a foot tall. He is massive. But thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.